Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to The Clothesline Store. In this short video, we're going to unbox and assemble the very popular Hills Portable 170 folding clothesline. When doing this, we always recommend doing it on a flat surface. In this instance, we're going to unbox it and assemble it on the floor. So let's get started. So now we've got the box flat on the ground, we're going to cut it open and take all the parts out. So for this, we just use a Stanley knife. Now when unboxing a clothesline, just be very careful and cut around the edges or you may actually cut the clothesline. So in this case, we're just going along the edge. So once we've opened the box, you can see the instruction booklet. This is a really critical part to the assembly of the portable 170 clothesline. Inside, you'll find a list of all the products that are supplied in the box. Very important to take these out of the box and check off against the manual. So let's unpack now and check against the manual. So once we've taken the items out of the box, it's important to go through and check that all the components there are as per the manual. So let's get started. So now let's check off all the parts. Here we have the line spreader and the hinge assembly. We have the four legs for left and right. We have the two line support sections. We have the two leg braces. We have two pieces of cord, one for each side. We have the hanging section, or the hanging bracket for the wall. And most importantly, we have the bag of nuts, bolts, and an Allen key for the assembly. So now we've confirmed we've got all the components. Let's put it together. So the next stage is, is stage one. Often one of the most challenging and difficult steps in the process. However, we're going to show you how to do it and a little tip to make it a lot easier. So let's get started. First of all, firmly hold the spreader bar down. You can use your foot or your leg. You have to pull the blue tab out or up towards you like this. And then you have to lift the hinge up. That's step one. That can be a little tight and a little difficult to do. Here's a quick tip to make it a lot easier. We get a leg, which we're going to use in the next steps. Put it on the lug here. And then lift the tab up or out, the blue tab towards you, and lift the leg up like this. And that just gives you a lot more leverage and it makes it a lot easier to do. Once you've done that, remove the leg because there's a few more steps we have to do prior to putting the leg on. So that's step one. So next, we're going to put the four legs onto the hinges. So first of all, you get the left and the right legs and the two threaded holes here have to face inward because that's what the brackets bolt to when we assemble the balance of the clothesline. So we first of all put this on here. Now we'll get a close up of this because it's very important on how we put the nut in and how we put the screw in. So let's have a closer look at this assembly area. Now the three parts you need for this is the Allen key, the bolt, and what we call a nylon lock nut. This has a piece of nylon on the outside of the nut and a thread on the inside. So what we do first is we put the nut inside the hinge like so, with the nylon section facing out. We then put the leg, as we can see here, we've got a hole on the inside, and we put this leg up like this. Now we then have to put the bolt into the hole and screw it. Now here's a tip, just pull the leg back like this so it easily engages with the nut. And once that's tight, we then go through and do the other three legs. So let's get that done. So now we've put all four legs onto the clothesline. We've flipped it up the right way and we've got it standing on the legs. The next exercise is to put the cross brace on the leg. There's one each side and by doing this we get it like so and we put it into these holes that we looked at a little earlier, those countersunk holes and we use the countersunk screws as per the manual. And we just simply put it in like so and we screw it in and we use the Allen key that was supplied in the toolkit. And we just tighten it up like that. Now I leave them a little bit loose. So you go around and do the other three 
so they all fit in nicely and then we just go around and tighten them up. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now we've put the cross brace on and the clothesline's nice and firm. The next step is quite an important one. This is the cross arm, um, the clothesline has two of these, one each end. Now you'll notice, or you may not be able to see in this video, but the arm is actually like a banana shape and it's really important that the banana faces upwards and the teardrops on the end face down because this is where you put your coat hangers through and this will ensure that you assemble the clothesline correctly. So we're gonna get two bolts, which came again in the bolt kit, and we're gonna use our Allen key, and we're gonna put them on to this area just here. Now we do this by simply inserting it into the bracket, lining up the two holes, putting in the screw, and using the Allen key to tighten up. So let's do that now. So once we've done one, we move on and do the second one. and make sure they're nice and tight before we move on to the next step. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we've assembled the arms on both sides of the clothesline, we've tightened them up, we've got them facing the correct way in terms of the bend, and we've got the teardrop facing down how it should. Next step is to put the cord on and the clips. You'll get two pieces of cord because you have one side with cord this side, and you do the other side. So both sides are actually separate and you get four end caps. So what you have to do is thread the cord through this end cap before we thread it into this holding mechanism here. Now in the manual, there's some very clear instruction on how to tie it onto here, and it's very important you follow it. So let's go ahead and thread one side of the clothesline. Okay, let's go. So just a tip, undo the cord and throw it out to the side. Make sure it's all undone, because if you try and reel it off as you do it, you'll get it all tied up and it's just a real hassle. So here's the clip, we put the cord through the clip, and then now we thread it through the retention bracket here. So let's get a close up of this so you can see how it's done. So now we're gonna thread the cord through the cord clamp. Push it through like so. Pull this section out, bring this section up here, in through here, in through here, and down. Now the key is to ensure this goes into the slot or the cover won't go on. So here's a little tip. Just use your Allen key and just push it into place. So it's in place nice and firmly. And once that's done, we then put on the cover, which we put on a little earlier. And we just slide the cover on like so. And then proceed to thread the rest of the cord. So let's get started. So now as we've started to thread our cord, we put it through like an S formation. So we go from here down, through the bracket, back, and up through this bracket here. So you simply just feed the cord in like so, pull it through, and do exactly the same the other end until we tie it off and tie it up the same way we did in this section here. So let's carry on and get it done. So now we've tensioned and installed the cord on one side of the clothesline, I'm gonna do it on the second side. So you've already threaded the cord, I'm just gonna show you how to tie it off and tension the cord. As we did in step one, you put the clip over the cord first, you then thread the cord through here, and pull it through. Now to tension, we pull the cord from the inside out like this, maintaining pressure or tension on here. So we do this three times, maybe four times, until we get it nice and taut. Now, a very important note on this, when you're doing this, it exerts an awful lot of tension on the clothesline. If you have a tension the cord, you will in fact bend the clothesline, and this can happen to any clothesline for that matter if you over tighten the cord. So these are nice and taut now. So we've pulled it like so, and we're just gonna tie it off through the clip and pull it down. Now, you have two options here. One, you can cut this off and put the clip on. Or secondly, which I prefer, is you leave it long like this because over time, you do have to tension the cord. That's standard maintenance practices for a clothesline, any clothesline for that matter. So I just leave the bit on here. But it's up to you which way you do it. You can then put the clip on and admittedly it won't fit nice and snug, 
but it will fit and look okay. So that's all that's required in installing and assembling a Hills Portable 170 folding clothesline. So I hope this has helped you. If you need this and any other clothesline solutions, please visit us at theclotheslinestore.com.au or contact us on the numbers above and below. And the team and I will be more than happy to help you. So my name's Jason. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.